Hello and welcome to the unit on database management. This unit carries your 20 marks and this is the part 7 of this particular unit. I hope you have watched the other parts of this unit. If not, you can always check out. I have given all the links in the description. So today's main topic of discussion is pattern matching in SQL. Okay, and we are going to do pattern matching with the help of the operator called like. This is the syllabus. Out of the syllabus, we are going to do the topic which is highlighted in red. So let's try to understand what a pattern matching is. Let's say we have a relation. The name of the relation is ST info. And there, let's say we have a column called name. In the name column, let's say we have a list of thousand names. And I want those names whose names begin with A. Then I can do it using the concept of pattern matching. Let's say I want the names of those persons whose name ends in S. Then also I can do uh, it using the concept of pattern matching. For doing pattern matching, we have an operator in SQL. The name of that operator is called the like operator. So the like operator is used in SQL for pattern matching. This operator is used to select rows containing columns that match a wildcard pattern. So in order to select using pattern matching, we will have to use the like operator and this operator will select the rows containing those columns which match your patterns. Okay, it will be more clear when we go to the practical part. Patterns are described using two wildcard characters. So for using the like operator, along with the like operator, you will see two characters. First is the percentage. It is given with the help of the percent symbol. This character means it matches any substring, zero or more character. Percentage symbol is used to check whether there are zero characters or more than zero characters. Next, we have the next character for pattern matching, which is the underscore character. Underscore character matches exactly one character. That means one underscore character will have to match only one character. Okay. Let's go to the practical part. Let's say we have this particular table. The name of the table is p-test. Now, if I have to do pattern matching, any sort of pattern matching on this table, then we have to follow some syntax. Let's look at the syntax. The syntax is select column names. We have to give a comma separated column names from table name where column name like pattern. Now, after where whatever column name is there, that is the column name with the help of which you would like to match the pattern. Let's say here I want to match the pattern with the help of the column e name. Then in place of column name, I'll write e name. Or what is the next syntax? The next syntax is if you want the entire table or entire row, then you will replace the column names by star or the multiplication symbol. So the syntax will become select star from table name where column name like pattern. For example, in this table, if I want to search for those strings whose names begins with him, then I'll write it in the form of him. And after that, I'll give the percentage symbol. Why I will give percentage symbol? Because him should definitely be there. But after him, there may be zero characters or there may be more than zero characters. Next, if I give the pattern as MN and enclose both the things within two percentage symbols towards its left and towards its right, then what it will do, it will see whether it has man as the substring. Okay, substring means it will check whether it has man at any part of the string. Now, if I give three underscore characters, what it will do, it will match a string of exactly three characters. If I give three underscore characters and after that I give a percentage symbol, then it will match any string of at least three characters. That means at least means there should be minimum three characters. But if there are five characters, will it accept? Yes, it will accept because after three underscores, I have given the percentage symbol. If I give percentage, after that I give A, then it will match any string ending with I hope it is clear. Let's go to the 
practical aspect of it. So we have this table. So the for in the first query, I will try to uh, return those rows which begins with HIM. So for that, how will I give? Let's say I require all the columns. So I'll give select star from, sorry, select star from table name. What is the table name? Table name is P test where, what is the pattern? Where, where uh, we are going to do the pattern matching by which column? We are going to do the pattern matching by E name column. So I'll write here where E name like after like what i'll give i'll give the pattern which is him it should begin with him and after that i'll give the percentage symbol that means it does not matter what is after him but it is mandatory that the string should begin with him string in which column string in the column enim and if i place the enter key you will see that i have got a table and in that table all the enim has begun with him the other others are eliminated Let's go to the next string. The next string is I have to check where which uh, which string con contains M A N somewhere in within the string. So for that I'll write like this: select star from table name. Table name is P test where E name like I want to have M A N as a substring. So what I'll do? I'll put it within percentage. MN, then again I'll just close the percentage. Therefore, I have got all the uh, rows which has E name as MN within any part of the string. In the last one, see the name Himanish was not there. The name Hemango was not there. Why? Because it did not begin with HIM, but here along with the previous data, now we have one more column which is the Hemanga column. Why I have got this column? Because it has MAN as the substring. Let's go to the next test, which is searching whether it has exactly three characters. So for that, what I'll give? Select star from P test, where E name like. If I want to check for exactly three characters, I'll just give three underscore symbol, then close the quotes, and then give the semicolon and press the enter key. Now, this is the main table here we have only one e name which has exactly three characters but here in this query only if i write after like after giving three underscore if i give one percentage symbol then what will happen it will check for those strings in the e name column which has at least three characters so if i press the enter key i'll get the entire table why because all the e names has at least three characters okay now it's not mandatory that you have to put star here you can put some columns also let's say i want the employee id of those employees whose names ends in a so how i'll put that query select i require only the employee id so i'll write select eid from table name what is the table name the table name is p test where what i'll write where e name because the filtering is happening with the help of e name where e name like percentage a percentage a means before a anything can be there but it must end with a so i'm getting three employees i employee id which are 1001 1003 and 1005 if you look at the e names of employee ID 10013 and 5, you will find that all the E names has ended with what? All the E names has ended with A. Okay, so that's all about pattern matching. I just have one more operator which is the not like operator. That means if you want, let's say you want the names of all the employees except whose names has start with H. Okay, so except H. If we require all other employee name, then I'll use another operator which is called not like operator. What is the significance of not like operator? Not like operator will do the opposite work of the like operator. That means whatever pattern you will give, it will return all the rows except that pattern. 
okay let's see it let's say now we have to uh, we require those columns whose names start with all the other alphabets except the alphabet h so i'll put the query as select star from table name table name is what uh, table name is p test where e name not like why not like because we require the names of all the employees except whose names begins with h so where not like how do we do the filtering of those names which begins with h i'll have to give h and then the percentage symbol but since i've used the not operator here what will happen it will do the opposite work therefore i have got a table with all the rows with names other than those beginning with h okay so this was our syllabus out of that we have done all these parts okay that's all for today i'll be seeing you in the next session with a different set of comments thank you very much